Hello and welcome to Satoshi House. Uh, today we're going to try to clean uh, Ant Miner S9. I had some problems recently with, uh, with the fan just spinning out of control every 10-20 seconds. Uh, goes to full power and then it slowly slows down again and of course this makes a lot of noise but it also takes a lot of electricity. So we're going to take this little bad boy apart and see how dirty it is. It could be a software problem as well uh, but I think it's more uh, that the heat sinks are blocked with some dust. So we'll try to get the, the hash boards out and uh, and then vacuum clean it, brush it, and vacuum clean it. So let's go. And also this miner has been next to the seaside, so there's probably some corrosion in it as well. Uh, the other miners we haven't had running close to the coast, so there is no corrosion problem with them. But there's always the dust issue. So every three, three months, depending on how dusty it is, it's well worth giving them a proper clean. Make sure you don't lose the screws and that you are earthed so you don't short circuit them. So yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of dust in here. Let's move it a little bit closer so you can get, get a view of this. So this is probably, I think this is one of the reasons why the fans spin out of control and then go back to normal again. So now we're going to remove the front fan and the hash boards. Make sure you don't lose the screws, they're very, very small. I'm not sure how important it is to put the hash boards back in the right order, uh, but just for safety, I have marked marked all the cables, uh, and I will also mark the hash boards on a piece of paper when I put them down, so I know which hash board goes back in which slot. Uh, most people use a compressor to clean um, clean the hash board, which I think is a great idea. I've done that myself a few times. Uh, this time I'm going to see how far we can get with a vacuum cleaner. And then we will also run a, I just run a 24 hour power test on, uh, on this S9 to see if it makes any difference after it's been cleaned. So let's have a look on the front side. As you see, the front side looks much cleaner, which you would expect because all the dust will come in from the back. Um, and now to remove the, the hash boards. Sorry for the video, I just got a, a little tripod that I'm keeping it on.
So you can see I have marked I have marked the cables with one, two, and three, just to make sure I get them back in, in the right position when I'm done. And the hash board should just slide out carefully. And they are pretty big. And you can see there's there's been a lot of dust accumulating on on them. So this is the part we will clean up and then put back together. What better thing to do to celebrate Satoshi's white paper, Bitcoin white paper anniversary today than take some time and clean your miners. And this you should try to do pretty regularly because they get, they will get dusty. As you can see, they all pretty clogged up. I'm actually surprised they're not dirtier further inside, but we will still clean it out as good as we can. So as, as you can see here, I put them down on a piece of a book. Uh, which I just marked one, two, and three, so I know they correspond to the same, to the right cable. And uh, now we'll get the, uh, uh, yeah, here you can see some dust further inside. Uh, so we'll get the, the brush out and the vacuum cleaner and try to clean them out.
sorry for the video. I'm alone and it's not easy to have your hands everywhere. I wish I had more hands and I wish I had more hours in a day. But I guess we all we all have that feeling. Uh, so now we just flip them over to the other side and as you can see they're pretty dirty on the other side as well. So let's go and go ahead and give them a clean as well. they are looking now so they're looking much cleaner um, even cleaner than I thought they're gonna be with just a, a vacuum cleaner uh, like I said normally I would use a I would use a um, air compressor but sadly today I don't have access to one and I wanted to get this done today so I could run some more tests and hopefully for next time I'll get an air compressor and show how it's done with an air compressor. Um, the important thing to think, think about whether you use an air compressor or a, or a vacuum cleaner is that you uh, don't blow it through the rear to the, through the whole mining, uh, mining rig, that you blow it through the front to the rear and in that way you don't blow all the dust through all the other hashing boards because some of that dust will collect there you won't be able to get everything off with a um, uh, with an air compressor even so always think flow from front to rear and try to vacuum clean up the the biggest parts before you before you use the air compressor you just don't want to spread that dust around. Um, and uh, now let's put it back together and see where we are.